Hello everyone and welcome back to our coverage of the 2019 World Series of Poker main event. I'm Sarah Herring and this is what you need to know. The 2019 World Series of Poker main event final table began on Sunday evening with nine players remaining from the second largest main event field ever of 8,569 players. Hussein Enson was well out in front with a sizable chip lead and Gary Gates was comfortably in second place. After a tad more than three hours of play, Enson remains the chip leader. Gates is still in second but made the biggest move. He won 11 of 56 hands played, tied with Enson. While Enson only added about 31 million to his chip leading stack, Gates increased his stack by about 73% with the 74.4 million he accumulated. Between the two of them, they hold about 75% of the chips in play. Have a look at the chip stacks coming into today. Although Dario is coming in the shortest stack, he is nothing but hopeful. When I start to play, it was really tough. I, I feel, uh, I don't know how, I have a bit of answer. So, but after I feel super great. And uh, I have to say thank you to my support, to my friends, because they really give me a lot of energy, a lot of good energy. So it was a funny day at the end. The first to depart from the main event final table was Milo Skirbik on the sixth hand of the night and sitting eighth in chips at the time, Skirbik was in the big blind and when Gates set him all in from the small blind, Skirbik called all in for 17 bigs with ace jack. While he usually would be ahead in this spot, he was actually dominated by Gates's ace queen. No help came, and for Skarabek, the Serbian was out in ninth place for one million dollars. Just a few hands later, Timothy Sue raised all in from under the gun for about 18 big blinds, and Ensign looked him up with ace jack. Sue was slightly ahead with pocket threes, but the runout gave Ensign jacks full of fives to end Sue's main event in eighth place for 1.25 million dollars. On the 32nd hand of the night, Ensign min raised from the cutoff and the UK's Nick Marchington made a stand for his remaining 12 big blinds with ace seven. Ensign had the goods with pocket kings and held up, ending Marchington's run in seventh place for $1.525 million. Play was initially scheduled to end for the night when six players were reached, but the decision was made to keep it going a little while longer. Zen Kai, who began the final table third in chips, was very active in his attempt to chip up, but ultimately was eliminated in sixth place. With a raise and a call before him, Kai picked up ace king in the big blind and committed his stack of about 24 bigs. Ensign had opened the pot and folded, but Kevin Moss called with pocket nines. Kai flopped a Broadway straight draw, but just couldn't get there, finishing in sixth place for $1.85 million. If anyone were to emerge as a villain in last night's coverage, it was definitely Kevin Maz. What started as unnecessary tanking ended in Maz Rail doing the na 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 na, hey hey hey, after Zenkai busted. This is pretty generally accepted as poor sportsmanship in the poker community. Feel free to cheer your guy on, but there's no need to rub it in as someone exits the tournament. This sentiment was summed up in a tweet from Danielle Anderson. At this stage, just five candidates remain in contention for the $10 million prize. They'll continue to play with just over 28 minutes remaining in the level. One thing is for sure, life-changing pay jumps are happening right before our eyes. And of course, we will have all the live action for you hand for hand right here on PokerNews.com. And thanks to our sponsors, Global Poker, the fastest growing poker site in America. I'm Sarah Herring, you're watching PokerNews.com.